Hey you guys, what's up? It's me, Jasmine. Um, it's so weird to be back on YouTube. It's so weird to be filming again. This video that you guys are about to watch was actually filmed before um, everything happened with COVID and before everything got really messed up globally. It just didn't feel right for me to drop the video that I filmed before during COVID and kind of act like it was from now and act like nothing's going on so I just thought I would reshoot my intro and just um, be transparent with you guys. I hope that everybody is um, doing okay. I feel like this planet is just constantly facing really bad news and 2020 has been so full on. Um, it's not been what anyone has expected at all so it's quite sad and scary times and a lot of people are suffering and that's the worst part about it. Now more than ever we need to be loving and we need to be kind. But yeah, I just thought I would drop this video um, and hopefully can distract some of you from your lives or what you feel like you might be going through. Basically the reason I had decided to film this video is because I was getting a lot of questions on my Instagram from um, people about me and what I was up to and I just thought I'd get all of your questions answered in a YouTube video so the next clip you see I don't have long hair because I don't have my extensions in yet because it was filmed before but without further ado let's get to answering you guys' questions okay ah! oh, no. okay I'm kind of excited to be on camera with you guys and talk to you guys. Today has been quite a chill day. I woke up and I really didn't have that many plans. It was quite gloomy and I thought, you know what, I'm gonna just wake up, start filming a little bit and kind of just chill with you guys on camera and then hopefully get to answering some questions before I go out and see my friends. So, um, yeah, what did I do? I woke up. I went to the gym for a little bit and when I go gym I don't really go in I just like go gym <laughs> and like try and work out a little bit I think um, it's really really helped me like working out has really helped me in my headspace so I've been trying to maintain that and um, keep exercising so I actually put up some stories on Instagram and I asked you guys for questions about me about the tea about everything and i asked you guys if you wanted to see me answer them on instagram or if you wanted to see me answer them on youtube and a lot of you did did say youtube and i have gotten quite a lot of instagram messages and comments and stuff saying that you guys want to see more of me on youtube so yeah so i'm on my story that i posted and i'm just gonna swipe up and get up the questions what happened with Neva? Why aren't you on Neva anymore? What do you do now that you left Neva? Do you still talk to the Neva girls? What happened with Neva? What happened with Neva? What happened with Neva? <laughs> um, so I think the first question that you guys want to know is what happened with me and with Neva and why am I not on the show anymore? So when I left Neva, I don't think I got to fully explain um, why I was no longer in the show, why they're moving to LA, um, kind of everything around the whole thing. And I think it's unfair on you guys that you're not left with like a clear explanation of what's going on and what I'm up to, um, if you care. <laughs> so basically what I want to clarify is that we were on a show. It was a YouTube channel, but it was like being on a proper TV, high production, high quality show. Yeah, it was a lot of work. There was a lot of manpower. Actually, no, sorry. There was a lot of woman power in the show. A lot of people worked really, really hard on it, including the talent. So a lot of that stuff factors in on why I left. That's not the issue. I really, really love being busy and I love working very hard. And I really believed that I was doing something important. And I thought, you know, like there's a bunch of young girls who are watching this who feel like after watching this, they feel empowered to go and dress how they want to dress or express themselves however they want to. But I think um, after a while, I just started to really get very exhausted and I was getting sick a lot and stuff. So it was just quite a difficult time for me. And mentally, I was like a little bit all over the place. It's also winter. Winter in London is not the best. If you guys live in a cold country, you know. Basically, there were just a bunch of reasons um, for myself and things that I really, really wanted to accomplish and do that I felt like I couldn't do while I was underneath another company. I really wanted to feel kind of independent and free to um, explore and express myself in certain ways that obviously it's difficult to do when you're in a show with three other girls and you need to like all kind of bounce off each other and you also need to balance that into like your own lifestyle and try and maintain your individuality. We also all live together so 
I think trying to navigate myself and figure out who I was was really difficult to do in that environment and it's no hate to anyone like I love the girls incredible amounts I met people through working um, on Neva that I will love forever and are, are amazing people and I still meet up with now and um, so it's no disrespect or hate to anyone it's just that for me, for myself, I felt like I needed to venture off. I wasn't sure when I wanted to venture off. I didn't think it was gonna be this soon. I believed that I was gonna do Neva for like at least two to three years. When it came to the summer and we had a meeting and it was announced that the show was moving to LA, um, it was really, really overwhelming for me. It was after a set day and we had a meeting and I just remember like, I felt very, um, I had this huge overwhelming feeling. I've also kind of grown up my whole life constantly having to move around. Things constantly changing within like dynamics of school, family, friends and stuff, you know, like I guess a lot of people have those experiences, but um, it was just really intense. A lot of stuff to do with like parents and you know, whatever, whatever, whatever. That's another story. Then when this whole LA thing was gonna happen, it felt like that, like that trauma was kind of coming back again. And it kind of gave me this really overwhelming feeling of like fear. I know a lot of teenagers nowadays and for a long time, but especially nowadays because this world is so crazy, um, really struggle with mental health. So I feel like that's something that I would love to talk more about if you guys would wanna hear. But when I was younger, I had really intense anxiety that really hindered me in my life, I think. And I really didn't live for a long time because I was like just holding myself back all the time. So when the whole LA thing was kind of announced, I think a lot of those feelings kind of resurfaced for me. I think maybe because I wasn't mentally in the best place, I felt like I didn't have the strength to face the move and face all of it on my own. When we announced on Neva that Neva was moving to LA, I think it was put really lightly and I see a lot of you guys messaging me, asking me like, oh, like when are you coming back? Or when are we gonna see you again? Like how long until you come back and stuff? I've left my contract with Kyra. I think the truth is that my time with Neva is finished. It was a year, so it was very short, but it was an amazing year. Um, but I think that that was that, that was that for me. The girls are incredible, and them three have such a good connection. I, am, I have such a good connection with all of them three as well, but obviously them three, they're from LA, and they work so well together, and I think them three running Neva is just like boss mode. Everybody who um, watches and supports Neva or supported Neva, um, thank you so much. You seriously changed my life and I had some incredible experiences and I met three amazing girls who I'll know forever. Yeah, it was a crazy year. It was an insane year and it is an entire huge part of my life, a massive chapter in my story and it will never not be, so yeah. As for what I'm up to um, post Neva, the past few months have been quite difficult for me, I'm not gonna lie. Like I said, there are a lot of um, deeper things that I really care about. I love fashion, I love beauty, but I think it's all because I like self-expression and I believe that um, everybody, especially women, should feel like they are empowered to be who they are. I really do want to break down a lot of barriers for South Asian women. Um, I grew up really, really, really hating the fact that I was Indian and Iranian. I felt very embarrassed of my brownness. And that's just because of the way that other kids make you feel and it's not their fault, it's their parents, it's society, it's the way that we grow up. And I think throughout Neighbor you guys saw that I really tried to weave in sort of sustainability, consciousness, conscious living, the environment, etc, etc. Part of the reason that I really, really care about that is because there are a lot of issues in the world that I really, really want to tackle. But I think in order to tackle those issues, I need to make sure that the world stays alive and doesn't die on me <laughs> before I get a chance to do that. So I'm tackling that as I wanna also tackle other things at the same time, if that makes sense. I do have some projects in my head that I wanna start. There's one that I've wanted to do for time, for a very, very, very long time since pre Neva, um, something that I'm extremely passionate about. And um, surprise, surprise, it's about women. <laughs> um, so someone asked me if I'm vegetarian. So when Neva started, I went vegetarian. It was something that I'd wanted to do for a while. I think um, the power of the mind is really important, but I also believe that that comes from the relationship you have between your mind and your body. There is like such an important line and connection between the two. And for me, I felt like having and consuming um, animal products was really hindering that connection and kind of putting like a bump in the road and I wanted to stop. 
eating meat. I tried to be vegan for a week basically and it was too difficult for me um, in the first week. I wasn't, I didn't do enough research, so I didn't really know what I was doing so I went to vegetarian after that. And then in the summer I decided to go vegan. Um, I have people in my life that are vegan so it makes it a lot easier for me. Um, it is really, you know, it's really, really definitely a very manageable thing and if you want to do it, I definitely say try but do your research first. Um, make sure you're getting in all the nutrients that you need. I think people assuming that you don't get enough iron and stuff is super archaic and if you want to really know, you should do some research. What are the best shops in London for shopping? Charity shops. I have been going to charity shops since before I lived in London. When I would come here in the summer, I would go to charity shops. You can honestly find some amazing things. This cardigan I'm wearing now is from a charity shop. It's super cute, it has a little button and it ties. If you are not from London, a charity shop is basically a shop where people donate their clothes and the money goes to charity, so it's, yeah, I mean, it's self-explanatory charity shop. Half of my wardrobe is definitely charity shopped and um, I love it. I feel like I get so many unique pieces and you really go in and you are so focused on what you're doing and you're just like looking through everything and trying things on and you're really thinking about like how you could piece together a fit with this and how could you make this work rather than going to like a massive fast fashion store and just having kind of like the mannequin already with the entire fit and in your head you're like okay cool so that goes to the black top perfect you are so much more creative and you're so much more inspired one man's trash another man's treasure honestly that is the truth Thank you guys so much for listening. I value your time that you spent here and I value you guys so much. Thank you so much for all the support and just wait, just wait, just wait. There is more coming from me. I have so many things that I wanna do, so many things that I wanna accomplish. I'm just figuring it out. I'm putting the building blocks in place, but it is all coming. Comment down below. Let me know more about what you guys wanna see from me. If you want me to post more, if you wanna know more about me, ask me questions. Yeah. Also, have I been looking, does it, does it show that I'm looking up at the viewfinder, not this way? Shit. <laughs>